Hello brain shakers, we continue looking at the pelvis, specifically the female pelvis, a few simulations on the pelvis. Today I'm going to be showing you the landmarks on the pelvis. Now the landmarks are very important because they help you identify what is a true pelvis, what is a false pelvis, and they also help you in determining what the pelvic brim is. Now it is important to know what the pelvic brim is because only then will you know when engagement has occurred and only then will you know as well what would be the cavity and then you would also be looking at the outlet and very helpful also in determining issues to do with positions because those landmarks then would be telling us exactly where the denominator which is the position determinant is actually located so um if we start right from the posterior aspect, we have about eight important landmarks on the female pelvis and we are going to be hanging around this particular region here just on the top because that is where the uh, pelvic brim is, just all the way here. So posteriorly here, landmark number one is this deviated end of the sacrum which we are referring to as the sacral promontory here. So that deviated end is landmark mark number one and from that then we'll be moving to the wings of the sacrum which we call the sacral alley or the alley of the sacrum these parts here these are the wings of the uh, sacrum and then from there it, we have the third landmark, which will be the joint between the sacral alley or the wings of the sacrum to the ilium. That joint here that we referred to as the sacroiliac joint. So that is also an important joint. So we're talking about it as the third landmark as we are looking at the landmarks. Now, we will skip the fourth landmark so that it is easier for you to understand. When you look at this particular um, model, you come to understand that this ilium has a point where it becomes so prominent. Now, this prominent area is what we are going to determine as landmark number five. So we have skipped landmark number four. We have landmark number five. Now, what is landmark number five? Landmark number five is what we call the iliopectineal eminence. It is just an area where that ilium is actually more prominent. So you have the iliopectineal eminence. Now, if we were to draw a line from the sacroiliac joint, to the iliopectineal eminence here. That line that we draw here is what we refer to as an iliopectineal line and that gives us a landmark number four. So we're sacral promontory, alley of the sacrum, sacroiliac joint, then iliopectineal line, then leading us to the iliopectineal eminence. Now from the iliopectineal eminence, we did make mention that obviously we have the pubic bone here forming the third uh, part of that innominate bone. Now, from the pubic bone here, you have this upper arm here. Now, the upper arm is what we're going to call a ramus. So the ramus here is going to be the superior ramus of the pubic bone. Then is going to give us the landmark number six. Then from there, we'll be looking at the upper border because this whole part is the pubic bone. Now, because this whole part is the pubic bone and we are on top here, we want to refer to only the upper part here. So the upper part of that pubic bone is going to be the superior aspect or superior or upper border of the pubic bone. So we're referring to it as a superior aspect of the pubic bone or the upper border of the pubic bone. And then you have this part now that we have referred to as the symphysis pubis. Again, we're looking at it from the upper aspect. So we are referring to it as the upper border of 
the symphysis pubis now not just the upper border but we're looking at it from the inner aspect so this will be the upper inner border of the symphysis pubis similar to the pubic bone as well we're looking at the upper inner border of the pubic bone so those are your eight landmarks so the sacral promontory you have the alley of the sacrum you have the sacral um, iliac joint you have the iliopectineal line iliopectineal eminency then you have the superior ramus of the pubic bone and then you have the superior or upper inner border of the pubic bone and the upper inner border of the symphysis pubis those are your landmarks and then they help you to know what the pelvic brim or rather they form the pelvic brim so those are your landmarks and thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one